Welcome to the PHNX Wildcats podcast presented by Neutral. They're supporting us this Territorial Cup week. Neutral vodka seltzers are made with real fruit juice and the variety packs come in lots of great flavors. Head to Neutral.com to find a store near you. Ben White, a big fan of the uh, the uh, the fruit-flavored pack. All right, with Ben, with uh, Jason Shear, I am merely Mike Luke. Hello, boss. How you doing, dude? What's going on? Well, let's be honest here. Did you uh, Was it better having me up in the press box uh, this past week? Than it was, I, love uh, you the, I, I love when you're up in the press box. I know how to handle you. I'm good. All right. You do. Yes. I know some other people don't know how to handle because I think it's fair to say I'm a little unorthodox when it comes to uh, your traditional yeah. media, but uh, we'll put it the way it is. Sheer Arizona just beat the snot out of Utah, a solid Utah team. We're going to talk about where Arizona ranks in the grand scheme of things, but let's just rehash that ass whooping that we saw. Yeah, that was the thing. Like, that wasn't a win. That was a butt kicking. Like, yeah. Arizona kicked the crap out of Utah. And we we thought Arizona would win, but I don't think either of us. Like, I, I think I picked Arizona by a point. Like, that was – that game was over in the first quarter. It was and, done. It, it, they had, it, I mean, it was awesome. And what generally happens in our group or our group uh, uh, chat, Shearer when Arizona is at, uh, generally at some point, Shearer and Cody will start saying – Arizona's totally losing this game. Sure, we didn't get any of that. That's how you know that we were kind of kick, we were stomping them out. Yeah, I mean, there wasn't a second that I thought that Utah was winning that game. And, you know, Arizona did what you kind of always want your team to do, which is step on the throats, you know, go for the kill shot. And, and Arizona was doing that. Uh, they were throwing the ball deep more than they had any right. other game. They, you know, they were absolutely going and trying to beat the crap out of Utah. Yeah, and how many times have you seen Utah where you're just kind of demoralized on both sides of the line? Arizona was in that backfield the entire time. Taylor Upshaw, a sack, two and a half tackles for, or a two and a half tackles for loss. Can you have a half of a tackle for loss? Uh, well, yeah, you yeah. share it. Yeah, you share it. Okay, and then obviously you had six tackles for loss. Utah, granted, they didn't have their, uh, they didn't have Cam Rising, but they haven't had Cam Rising all season. <laughs> but Arizona, though. Arizona just manhandled them. You don't really see that. And uh, Stevie Williams, a.k.a. Slyrus, on the board said, we for real. I see you, G. Yeah, like, here's the thing. Like, a, a lot of people are making um, a lot out of Utah's injuries on the defensive side of the ball, which I completely understand. They were absolutely missing good players. But it doesn't change the fact that when they were on uh, defense or offense, they couldn't do anything. Right. Like, Arizona's defense had them – I mean, Barnes threw 53 times or whatever. They don't want Barnes throwing 53 times. Right. And it's because they couldn't run the ball. I mean, yeah, it was part of the lead, but they also couldn't run the ball at all. Barnes was their leading rusher. Uh, their offense couldn't move. Their offense was healthy. I mean, Arizona just beat them on on every every single phase. Arizona beat them. All right. Also, let's talk about it. We're going to get down to the specifics, the nitty gritty. Arizona also got a nice little quarterback commitment. I have no problem. Any dweeb out there that is saying that Arizona was running up the score, that wasn't fair. Miss me with all of that. Utah does it all the time. I think Jed Fish is aware that Utah does that all the time. I love that about Jed Fish, Jason Shearer. So I looked into this a little bit, too, because I was pissed. I'm I'm usually I'm very calm, you know me, very calm on social media and everything. Yeah, 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 in sure. 2007, I believe it was. Mm -hmm. uh, Utah was beating Wyoming 43 to nothing, and the Wyoming coach had done something to piss off Whittingham. I think he said like he was at a booster dinner and he said we're going to beat Utah. And Whittingham ran an onside kick up 43 to nothing with five minutes to go in the third. Mm -hmm. Spare me. Right, like right. I don't care if there's any coach that runs up the score. Everybody knows it's winning him. That's what he does. All right, now Sheer, I'm going to get this read in here because it's very important. Then we're going to get to the specifics of what we saw. But first, DraftKings, my friends, DraftKings. Okay, if you would listen to us, you would be very rich right now because we told you to take the over of five again. We can only do so much. We can lead you to water. We can't force you to drink it. Now, the NFL is here. There's so much to be thankful for. You can put down uh, $5 on any NFL action and get $150 instantly in bonus bets. All right, here's the deal. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY. In West Virginia, visit www.1800gambler.net. In West Virginia, that is. Play, res play responsibly. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. 888-789 or visit CC 
jcpg.org on behalf of Boot Hill Casino Resorts. Must be 21 years or up. Uh, eligible in most states, but age uh, varies by restri- uh, uh, jurisdiction. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for more details and state specific uh, response and state specific responsible gaming gambling resources. Eligibility and deposit restrictions apply. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issue in terms at sportsbook.draftkings.com uh, football terms. All right, now it's time for our DraftKings pick of the week. Real quick, Sheer, I'm taking Arizona to cover nine and a half against ASU, and I feel good about it. Do you see what it is now? It opened up to my nine and a half, so that's what we're going with. But do you see what it is now? What? 13 and a half already. Yeah, it should and be 13. I thought that nine and a half was stupid. In 24 hours. Yeah, no, I, I would agree with that. And I'm a person that thinks this game is going to be closer for longer than people want. I think Arizona will pull away, but I, I think ASU is going to stick around a bit. And I would still probably pick the 13 points. All right. Um, now, Arizona, though, I think what really uh, what really crystallized for me in this game, too, and we're going to talk about the teams in the country clearly better than Arizona. By the way, did you see my tweet today? It was a very good tweet. Uh, no, I didn't. 2021. Um, oh, yes, I did. I did. Was, you should retweet it. It's actually a good tweet. Mike, I'm actually reading. You're going to like this. I like to piss you off on air. The 10 Bolitnikov semifinalists or uh, were released in T-Mac did not make the list. All right. Well, well, all right. Let's talk about this. How in the world Rob Bowers that- made the list? He's a tight end. He's a tight end. You know what really annoys me about the T-Mac, uh, the people overlooking T-Mac? It's not like this is some two-star wide receiver from El Paso that's been to three different schools. This dude was a five-star quarter or five-star quarterback, five-star wide receiver from the Trinity League. How in yeah. the world is a dude like this who I don't believe now listen, I, I've had a, some Arizona fans tell me he's the best receiver in the country. I'll take Marvin Harrison. But you know what? He's one of the three or four best wide receivers in the country. It is wild to me that he doesn't get the kind of love that he should. So I'm looking at the guys they put on the list. And basically what they did is they just took the 10 highest statistical guys, and that's it. Well, that's his stat. Uh, all right, what's he's he not, at? He doesn't, he doesn't have 1,000 yards yet. What's he at? About nine something? 980. With nine touchdowns? Yeah, he sucks. Um, but like what they did, like so, they took all of LSU's receivers because they all have ridiculous numbers, right? Um, then well, they took Luther. Yeah, I mean, they, yeah, that's all they did. They took the the ten, like they took from the Pac-12. It's it's Franklin and Adunze. I assume it was Jacob or Jacob Franklin. I would assume it was uh, Frank. <laughs> Jacob Franklin. I Here's what's it's... stupid though: they have Keon Coleman who has 615 yards. Well, that's where it doesn't make any sense too. Now, listen, Coleman looks the part. I get it. He's a great NFL prospect. He ain't have a, he hasn't have a better year than uh, T Max so far. No, this is a it, this really is this really is wild. Again, I get it if you're kind of the scrappy, you know, under the radar. This dude was a five star wide receiver prospect. Yeah, good. I, I hope he uses his motivation. Uh, well, I would certainly ima- I would certainly imagine that he would. Um, now, uh, as far as, uh, as we got to talk a little bit about Noah, then we're going to get to the defense. Noah Fafita. This is the best thing that I can say about Noah Fafita. The offense is always on time with him. How many times, and I've said this point now twice, and it's a good point. I very rarely make good points. I'm going to keep saying it. How many times do you see a second and 19? How many times do you see a third and 17? You never see it. It's always second and four, third and five, something that is always manageable. And on third down, like our good friend, John Brogan, 1290 said, he's deadly. Yeah, and, 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 you know, that that's also, like, you got to credit, like, it, it's funny that there's people out there that don't think Jed Fish is a good play caller. and uh, The trick the play the worked. Day, the trick play worked, and, and I understand that sometimes he, he does plays we don't agree with, but statistically, Arizona is top five on first and second down. They might be the best in the country after this weekend. Like, because they you're right, they don't play from behind. Like, they don't get negative yardage on first down. And part of that is... They can trust T Mac or in uh, Fafita. Sorry, T Mac. Uh, Fafita to make the simple throw. Right. Like if you say, "Look, we're it's first to ten. Here, we're going to give you this five yard screen pass just so it's second and five. So we have right. something to work with." He's not throwing the ball forty yards downfield unless there's a look there. And and like you said, like it's it's very big for an offense to not be working from behind the chains, and and Arizona very rarely does. All right, and Jed Fish also is having a little bit of the last laugh on Montana Lamonius Craig, perhaps. Uh, he's looked really good. Gunnar Maldonado has. Perhaps that's why I'm sitting here 
And Jim Fitz last, is sitting in the foothills. In the last uh, two games, he has six catches for 99 yards and a touchdown. That's pretty damn good. Uh, yeah, that's good. Again, Jed Fish, a fisher of good wide receivers. Also, very, very good. Very excited. Oh, we're going to get to Matt Mulevach here in a minute. But uh, by the way, I saw you downvote that. Just so people uh, know. Uh, I well, no. Honest, dude. I got to keep you humble. I, I, my pen just broke. I'm getting too excited. Um, yeah. The uh, we will uh, we will talk about uh, we will talk about Matty M, but we need to get back to uh, this game. Also, Jed Fish got a nice little quarterback recruit, uh, high three star, low four star, and any quarterback named Dash is already a good player in my book. Skier, what do the people need to know about Dash? Really good. I I actually think he's going to wind up being a four star. Uh, I, he's very close. His junior year is awesome. He's he's pretty mobile, but he's not like a runner. Uh, he's good. Like he's absolutely in his time at Arizona going to compete. We're assuming Noah's the starting quarterback until he leaves. Um, let's just assume, you know, I mean, you're Damon Williams, Braden Dorman, uh, now Dash, like Jed Fish can recruit quarterbacks. What a yeah. difference the coach makes. Remember, <laughs> like, I mean, the last. We we used to have discussions about did Kevin Sumlin have the worst quarterback rooms in Arizona history, and now we can literally have discussions in terms of depth yeah. and overall. Yeah, is this, is this the best, best quarterback rooms that Arizona's had? Jed, all right, let's talk a little bit about Jed Fish. This is just Dennis Walsh is in here. Sheer of you unmuted Dennis Walsh. He changed his profile picture just for you. Uh, no, Dennis, I didn't. Dennis Walsh, uh, put your Twitter in here right now. We will make sure that Shear does this by the end of the show. I can guarantee you this. Otherwise, I will go rip Shear's head off. So put it in there right now, Dennis Walsh, the great Dennis Walsh. Um, Arizona. Um, Jed Fish, I have a hard time. And again, I don't have any inside information on this. I have a very hard time. Oh, it's right there, Shear. Shear, follow him oh, right yes. now. I know who he is. He's very, he was very mean to me, Mike. Follow him right now. Hey, listen, I'm not following. The digital dam I'll, is coming I'll unmute on. him. I'll All unmute right. him. I'm not, I'm not, I don't follow people. You know that. Yeah, you didn't follow uh, your senior editor, Scott Schlittenhard, until like a month ago. And that's your hey, senior you, editor. Hey, do you want to get people panicked? Are you talking about Jetfish coaching? Yeah. You want to panic people a little bit? No. Okay. All right. Well, what were you going to say? Because it's probably crap, but go ahead. Uh, the AM Rivals, I believe, is mm -hmm. reporting Kalen DeBoer, Ryan Day, and Jetfish. I see. Let's talk about a for a second. Why isn't Kalen DeBoer the easy hire there? He is. It's a matter of whether or not he would leave. But DeBoer is number one. Everybody I'm, knows it. And he should be number one by a good percentage, I would assume. Yeah. Um, all right. I don't I don't believe. Now, listen, if, if A&M comes calling, whatever, I get that. I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't believe that Jed Fish is going to Michigan State. I don't believe that he's going to UCLA. I think that Jed Fish is going to have to get the exact right opportunity because this is a national championship type team. I just said it right there. Next year's team has national title type aspirations. It's going to go into the season preseason rank in the top 10 to 15. Shears like Anthony Jamino and doesn't ever want to get ahead of himself. So he's like, I'll say top 25. I say top 10 to top 15. But joking aside, this is a loaded, loaded roster that is not going into any game next year where they're going to be a significant underdog in a game that they can, probably can't win, uh, Skier. Yeah, so I, I, I don't know. If, have I been on your show since we had that coaching conversation? Yeah, you've, been playing, someone, you've been playing hard to get. I talked to someone close to Fish, and he said, look, the only jobs that you need to be worried about are at the top level, Florida. If Florida comes open, look, if, if Jed's the guy at Florida, Jed's the guy. He's going. Let's mm -hmm. just be honest. Mm -hmm. uh, UCLA, to a much lesser degree, not mm -hmm. a guarantee that some people would think, in the NFL. That's it. Right. He's not going. He's not going to Michigan State. Now you're going to hear his name come up for other jobs because that's why you hire agents. But right. this team is really good. And that same person said, "Look, man, like he thinks that Arizona could be elite in the Big Twelve, like top ten every year type of deal." And so, you know, it, it, it's <laughs> oh, we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> it's you know, it's a situation where like Jed's smarter than people think. Like he, he's not leaving Arizona just to leave. He knows very well where this program can be within the next few years. It, it's, I, I know people, Arizona fans want to convince themselves that Jed is gone. I, I'm telling you, it's nowhere near a guarantee or even likely. 
Uh, I don't believe that is either. Also, have we also considered the fact there's probably not a ton of Circle K's in Florida? Have we looked uh, at that as possibly, possibly a game changer? Yeah. How many Circle yeah. K's are in Florida? Well, I do this read. You will. I'll, I'll read. Here's the deal with Circle K. Go there right now. It's a place for the people. We'll go after the live stream. Join There's a lot. There's a lot. Free. Oh, that's <laughs> All right. Well, no, it's good because it's giving the people what they want. Join your <laughs> circle for free by downloading the Circle K app today. Terms and conditions apply and participating locations. Visit CircleK.com for details. All right. Let's talk about the no stop truck stop or whatever it is. Um, is. I'll talk here and then I'll let you go. Don't make it personal on here because I don't get in trouble, but you can definitely state your part. I actually like Carlos the Entertainer or whatever. Uh, uh, Carlos uh, what was his what was his name uh, the yeah no cedric the entertainer what was it but carlos is uh what is carlos on twitter carl uh um carlos uh uh either way it's equity brewing or equal brewing something like that i actually liked him at first but then what i did find out about him is he throws a lot of nasty aspersions about players out there and then if you challenge him on anything he says he immediately blocks you so I lost all respect for him. Kobe Thiel, if you're out there, you should lose respect for him as well. Shiri went at Shiri went at you. Again, keep it nice, but you can say your part. Um, the only thing I'll say, because I don't want to give it too much attention, is it was basically a rant on internet, all 24-7 publishers, about how we're all jokes and we don't report news and we just try to stir up controversy. And uh, I, I think a lot of us, most of us have proven that's not the case. And that I'm confident in our product. I don't know how many stories the 24-7 network needs to break before someone takes us seriously, especially a dude that just has a podcast. But Hey, what's we. wrong with that? That was a put down right there, Sheer. No, no, no. You go to games and stuff, dude. Like, you cover teams. I meant, like, you literally I'm just, kidding. just has a podcast. Shut up. Dennis Walsh, <laughs> Dennis Walsh, we need to be – now, listen, we like Tony Altimore on this. Tony Altimore – Sheer, is Tony Altimore grown on you a little bit? Come on. A little bit, but he still likes tweets going at me a little bit. But then he likes tweets complimenting me as well. Tony's very mixed up. This Pac-12 thing kind of got to him. Yeah, but I do, but but he's not a lost cause, though. We do agree. On I don't that. think I don't think let me let me let me give Tony a non-compliment compliment. I don't think Tony's a bad person. Nice, nice. Tony, if you're out there, which I'm sure you are, also I put Tony in the same class as Digital Dam. Where, um, uh, by the way, we're having an Oregon State guy on Friday. By the way, G Rod, great. yeah, by the way, G Rod, uh, we've had Tony Altimore on the show many times. Uh, um, Digital Dam, real quick, is going to come on Oregon State. Here's what I like about Digital Dam most of the Oregon State fans they go crazy, they start uh, DMing you, talking about how they're going to find where you live, or that, uh, you know, what's your mother's name, all of that stuff. Digital Dam is a lot like me, and that he likes trolling. Um, but he never gets personal. That's the best compliment I can ever give somebody is they're a lot like me, Sheer. Maybe that's the worst thing I can say about him. Uh, we need more Michael Lukes, you know? Yeah, I, agree. I agree. But either way, Digital Dam, Friday, right there. Right there for everybody. Um, Tony, way better than Carlos. Yes, we agree. Tony Altimore really has become a national thing during all of a realignment. And it's funny because he, really he, he was dead wrong about everything, but he's really become a national thing. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. It's it's a good case of people building up their brand. And yep, Tony, the Tony Altimore brand is strong and thriving. Okay, Arizona. Now we got to do the uh, we got to talk about which teams in the country are clearly better than Arizona, because in 2021, was there a team in Power Five that was worse than Arizona? No. Keep in mind, this was the team that like Brendan Lewis from Colorado beat like 37 to nothing. So again. This now, let's look at it. I believe the uh, I believe that Georgia is better than Arizona, even though we want Georgia. They don't want us. We want Georgia. Big Georgia. Bill Norton would dominate Georgia. By the way, joking aside, doesn't that show you how insanely good Georgia is that yeah. Big Bill Norton can't get on the field? Literally can't even see a snap, like <laughs> minimal stats. And look at same thing with Taylor Upshaw. Couldn't right. play at Michigan. Dude, yeah, dominating exactly. the Pac-12. Dominating the Pac-12. We will take all of your cast-offs, my friends. <laughs> um, Georgia's better. Um, Alabama, I'll still take Alabama. Um, Michigan and Ohio State, 
I had the spreads for these games, by the way. All right. Which which team? What do you got? So ha- Arizona right now, according to the computers, you're not going to like this, but they're I don't like anything. They're 21st of the country. This is basically mm-hmm. how spreads are decided, right? Okay. What do you think the spread would be Arizona versus Michigan? 14. On a neutral field. 16 14. on a neutral Yeah, 16 on a neutral field. Um, okay. Alabama would be 14. Oregon, 12. The really Now, you're starting to get like LSU would only be a touchdown. Right. Notre Dame would be six points on an all those field. teams. I think that air, I, all those teams, I think Arizona can beat. I'm not saying they will, but all those teams, I think that Arizona can beat. Also, like Kansas State would be favored by eight, but I, I think Arizona could beat Kansas State. Wait, 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 Kansas State is would be favored by eight. Do you know how good Kansas State is this year? I love Kansas State, I love their fans, but also, yeah, why are they're they eight and three? They're eight and three. Uh, I don't know. What am I missing they here? To, they're eight and three, and they've lost to every ranked team that they faced. We got to be careful here. We like Kansas State. We, no, Kansas State, Big 12 people. We love all of you, my friends. You are a big part of what we're going to be doing going forward. We will put uh, no bad words on any Big 12 team. I will, I will say this, because we were talking about this the other day. You know who is 22nd in the computers? Huh? Missouri. Because we both said Arizona yeah. would what Missouri? Missouri? Arizona would be favored over Missouri. Is Eli Stank wine or whatever his name? He's the coach, right? Eli Drinkwitz, yeah. Eli Drinkwitz, a very great name. Hey, a brother of yours, if I'm not, I would assume. Uh, no, I don't think so. Really? I'll, I'll I'm Google sure. It. I'm sure he is. Sure. I'm, I'm googling it. I'm sure he is. No, he's not. Oh, that's disappointing. Um, all right, good. If we beat OU, that would be a huge win. Um, again, I uh, there's four teams. All. The, all those teams outside of those four, I believe that Arizona could beat, and I would take my chances. I'm just saying it right now. There's four teams, Skier. What teams do you would you? What teams do you say eh, Arizona can't beat them? Um, they can't beat Michigan. They probably can't beat Ohio State, Georgia, and Bama. That's it. We agree. I think Oregon is really tough. So fine. Right, let's let's talk about Oregon. You uh, led me right into that one. Oregon hasn't beaten a ranked team all year. Yeah. By the way, Oklahoma would probably be favored by eight points. I'll take my chances against Oklahoma. I would too. I'll take my chances. Oklahoma doesn't do a ton for me. Oregon. Um, first of all, we're, we're all Oregon State fans this week. Oh, all. dude. I am driving home and leaving early from Palm Springs just so I could make sure that I watch that game. Dude, we need – listen, everybody out there, this is all we need. We need – you need to back the A against ASU, and you need – we need – Oregon State, all of our Beaver friends outside of that Beaver 3.0 guy, that guy sucks. All of the uh, all of the other people, though, we are all in solidarity with uh, them. We need Oregon State to win this game. I don't care how it happens. We got to make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, man, do you know what Saturday would be like if Oregon State somehow beats Oregon? Uh, dude, I... Arizona on the way out the door wins its first Pac-12 championship. Peace. Chiefs worst nightmare. Because here's what's going to happen then. Uh, when Arizona goes to the Big 12, oh, it's in the truck stop conference. That's why they're winning games. Imagine winning the Pac-12, my friend. Dude, and like, I think Oregon's really good. But if or- it's a double whammy. If Oregon loses that game, they're out. It's Arizona versus Washington. Arizona can beat Washington. Arizona can absolutely beat Washington, especially because <laughs> Washington hasn't looked great recently. No, can you imagine if Arizona (laughs) goes to a New Year's Eve six bowl? Dude, and on top of that, it's lucky for these schools that the pack or that the playoffs haven't been expanded yet. I was talking to the to the girls and I was uh, yesterday. I was like, you know what? How cool would be to see Arizona versus Georgia in the first round of the college football playoff? Sure, Arizona would lose by forty. They're not ready for Georgia. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. 
By the way, it might feel like we've hit the lottery. Maybe like the Arizona lottery, my friends. All right. Points of emphasis, my friends. New uh, sponsor. <laughs> All right. Uh, there is a scratcher for everyone on your list. Some people uh, get scratchers. Some people scratch Jason Shears back. It just depends on which kind of person you are. That's for you, Shelby. Scratchers start at just $1. Top prizes up to $500,000. Go ahead and buy your holiday scratchers today. And if you're like Shear and you're trying to get to this Arizona-Michigan State game, you might be thinking, man, I have no clue where I could find this. Game time comes to you like a beacon of light in an uncertain time. Game time is here for you. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code PHNX for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code for twenty dollars off. Download Game Time today. Last minute uh, tickets, lowest prices guaranteed. Um, yes, Arizona New Year's Day, uh, Day bowl game is absolutely what we need. Jed Fish, you cannot walk away from that, my friend. Sure, can't happen. Can't have it. It, it. Honestly, that would that, he wouldn't do it. He would not walk away. I I, I have a hard time. You know what's weird? Uh, Sheer and I were watching the game up in the press box, and um, while well, Tony Jamino is throwing things around and spiking the football after every first down, we're sitting there calmly talking about it. But we both went from saying, "Man, this doesn't this isn't good for Jed," to at the end of our Jed staying here to at the end saying, "Man, um." I can't believe Jed's going to leave this. We did yeah, a Mike and I were like, no, no, no. We need Utah to score a couple times. Not not win, just score a couple times. We don't need, you know, ADs everywhere to see that Arizona just beat the crap out of Utah. Right. Um, but then at the end, it's like, dude, this team's good. And then senior day, you're looking, you're like, yeah, Wiley's really good, but they have Coleman. Uh, Morgan's really good, but they also have, you know, right. Polito and, and Sabanea. Big and, yeah. Big, and, and, you know, it, yeah. It's, it's, he's got it's a hard. loaded roster, man. Let's say, it, it, and Jed has to know, like in Jed's mind, he has to know. He's like, look, if I can get this team in the top 10 next season, I'm going to be able to pick my job. You, you, who told you that idea first? Shelby. Oh, stop. Did the Broyles stop? Award. Uh, you know what? I'm tired of this. All right. What else? Oh, did Johnny Nansen not make it? No. Where's, I mean, come on. Who, all right, who's who's on it? Which which over? Defensive overrated? coordinator for James Madison. What are we doing here? The James Madison stuff is stupid. It's it's, it's a cool or it's a cool story. You don't need to have game day there. James Madison's defensive coordinator should not be on that list. No, the other ones I'm fine with. Yeah, all right. What are the other ones? Alex Grinch. Uh, no, he just missed it. <laughs> Alabama's offensive coordinator. That's stupid too. Okay, and who else? Florida State D coordinator, Georgia O coordinator, Iowa D, Louisville D, LSU O, Michigan O, Missouri defensive line. What are we doing? By the way, I am all about, well, actually, I'm not all about it because I can't watch it. Iowa is the epitome of the team that Arizona would destroy. Air, Iowa's ranked like 12th in the country or something like that. And they're a pick em game against a crappy Nebraska team. Iowa sucks. I don't care what anybody says. Everybody keeps talking about how good Iowa's defense is. They played one team with a pulse this year, and they gave up 31 points and lost 31-0. Iowa stinks, Sheer. I need Iowa to play a Pac-12 team in a bowl and have that Pac-12 team, which is possible, and have that Pac-12 team uh, just destroy it. Arizona would destroy Iowa. Do you know how much Arizona would be favored over Iowa by? Uh, how much? Uh, four points on a neutral field. I, will, I would take, I, on the uh, DraftKings Sportsbook app, I would absolutely take Arizona to cover that one, Sheer. Oh, dude, yeah. just terrible, terrible football. Um, anybody that anybody that sticks up for that stuff is, oh, you're not a uh, you're not a, a traditionalist. Arizona would get up fourteen to nothing, and that'd be the game. Uh, no, be they, no, they would get up three to nothing, and it would be the game. Uh, Arizona basketball ranked number three in the country. Has no one moved? Same no deal. One, no one move. Oh, we're gonna get to Arizona basketball. Actually, why don't we get to Arizona basketball now? But Arizona football. This is again. I, I took some arrows earlier in the year for saying this is clearly the best team since '98. Much as we appreciate the 2014 squad, you guys were awesome. Tip of the cap, salute emoji. Um, this team's better. This team's just better. Sure, it's the best yes. way I can put it. Um, across the board. Yeah, I back. mean, I got you you and I were looking at this. How many players from 2014 start on this squad? Obviously, Scooby. After that, uh, you started. Yeah. I got the I got the depth chart. All right. What do you got? 
Give me the players that Jason Skier thinks would start for uh, Arizona. Hold or, on. Well, they would all start for Arizona because we're comparing Arizona teams. All right. So 2014, right? Mm -hmm. We would have uh, Anu at quarterback. Noah's better. Nick Wilson at running back. I'll take Jonah and Wiley. Caleb William and Austin Hill and Devontae Neal, wide receivers. Um, one of those guys would be the third, uh, probably Caleb. And Samaji Grant, because they ran four wide receivers. Yeah, all right. One of those receivers definitely in there. Here's where you go, full Arizona. Garola, Balkis, Bundage, Ebel, and Alcidek. I think Arizona's whole O-line starts. Alcidek would probably start over Polito, but it'd be close. Alcidek is the only one on there, yes. I agree with that. Um, again, I just don't see where these dudes the are defense, starting. The defense is insanely better. Yeah, I mean, and again, we have, there's a lot of good defenders. I, I love Jared Tevis. Yeah, Will Parks would start. Will Parks dude, would this start. D -line, this D-line is so – you ready for this? I, I know you don't want to go position by it, but look, listen to this D-line. Reggie Gilbert, Jeff Worley, Dan Pettinato. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> uh, that's, that's, Cody Ippolito, Scooby, and DeAndre Miller. Scooby well, would start. For sure. Cody Ippolito would not be on the three deep. William Willie Parks would be the spur over Stukes. I love Stukes. Whatever. Yeah, Parks is better. Yeah. McKnight, Jarvis McCall, and Jordan Grandin. None of those would start. None of those guys. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. That's just uh, that's just the way it is. Uh, you know. Again, sometimes. Yeah, yeah we. You would. tell Caleb Jones to calm down. No, Caleb Jones is going to come on next week. I give Caleb Jones a lot of credit. Caleb Jones, you're a much larger man than me. Shear said that, not me. So, um, all right. Now let's move over to some Arizona basketball. Some Arizona basketball. Shear. I was telling this to some big 12 people got on me on Twitter a little bit. I will tell them this Arizona and Kansas are the two best teams in the country. Everybody else is battling for third. Uh, I would agree with that. I mean, I really think that, uh, um, Gonzaga today. I'm very curious to see how that goes. Uh, what's that? Oh, they're playing Gonzaga today. I didn't know that. Yeah. Three o'clock. You know, I kind of wonder if we're going to see the further and further uh, Tommy Lloyd gets away from Gonzaga, how much that he was really kind of running that situation. Again, fuse are obviously good, but they've definitely taken a hit, and Tommy Lloyd is at the top of his game. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it was a pretty public secret in college basketball circles that Tommy had a ton to do with that success. Right. Um, you know, obviously, Fuse a great coach and all that, but uh, Lloyd was instrumental to everything that they did. All right, you know what's also instrumental to everything that Shear does? Empire, Empire Flooring. Shear, how are your floors? Take a pic. Let me see your floors right now. They're show coming us. loose a little bit. The tiles are coming me, loose. I know, I know. Put, take your computer and show us your floors. Come on, come on. Oh, Empire Flooring could be just the elixir for those. Uh, Sheer, you got to check it out. Empire Flooring, uh, schedule a free in-home estimate today. All listeners can receive $350 off discount when they use promo code PHNX. Restrictions apply. See empiretoday.com backslash PHNX for details. Okay, now, got to talk about Pella Larson. Hashtag my bad Pella. Um, that is the first thing we need to say. Uh Pella Larson is a monster on the defensive side of the uh, uh, basketball. Um, defensive side of the basketball. and uh, Whatever. Pella Larson has drawn 17 fouls this year. That is a pretty impressive amount for the amount of games they play. Pella, I apologize. So I, I have a question for you. Uh, Jay Billis said it, and Mulebox said it last night. You know where I'm going with this. Yeah, go ahead. They both believe that Pella is an NBA player. I don't see it. I, but again, I've been wrong already. So, you know, take, uh, take it for what it's worth. I don't see it. Um, I, I just can't think of anybody like him in the NBA. And just because Christian Brown looks like him, doesn't mean that he, no, no, he would be, he wouldn't be a starter. He'd be a guy, you know, like he, I think he does a little bit of everything. I, I have to say to me very clearly the first, what is it? Five games. Yeah. This is the best basketball that he's played. Yes. Yes. For sure. I think I he's been. Absolutely fantastic this season. I would agree, I would agree with that for sure. Um, defensively, he's fantastic. He can. I just don't know offensively how he plays in the NBA because he would strictly have to be a standstill shooter. Um, and I think a lot of those shots get blocked because he's a set shot suit, shooter. Again, yeah, yeah. I, I, don't I, see I, it. I get it. I don't. I don't disagree. You. So you agree? I won't say anything. I don't. I, I won't say anything bad about Pella ever. But you. But so you agree with me though? I don't disagree. 
Okay, well, there you go. Dude, that, that's the most Anthony Jamino thing ever to say. Oh, I don't want to get out on, I don't want to get out in the open on this. I, one. I would be hard. I think Pella's going to have a very successful professional career. Uh, I would be surprised if it's in the NBA. All right, Shira, you agree with me. There we go. That's all we wanted. Uh, that's all we wanted to hear. All right. All, also, we're up to 150 lives right now, or 140 lives, my friends. Uh, very good for 1030. I just want the 150 people to know this is a football thing. This isn't. No, it looks you know. good. It looks much better. Hides the face. Keep doing it. We tried to get Jamino to agree to it, but he he's he doesn't yeah. back the A like we do. He doesn't back the A. I tried to get Jamino up in the press box to say that. Uh, did you know that Jamino said for the long uh, that uh, like because he was the football beat writer for what like nine thousand years, and yeah. he wouldn't even own a red shirt or a uh, because he said I kept trying to tell him we are in a different era of basketball, my friend. Um, are you he sure he's got a crib? He could be a <laughs> dude. Anthony Cimino throwing up the C in the press box, dude. It'd be awesome, dude. Nipsey Hustle and Anthony Cimino, <laughs> longtime friends. Many people don't know about this. Cimino on like Crenshaw and Slauson. <laughs> That'd be, be absolutely fantastic. Um, but uh, bat, from a this team though, what's really different about this year's team is that you can 1000%. Tommy Lloyd can pressure Tommy Lloyd can uh, he can do a lot of things defensively that he couldn't do last year with Kirk Carissa. Yeah. Sorry. Bruce just released his poll. I was very oh. enthused by it. All right. Um, Bruce. All right. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, let's talk about Bruce's yeah. poll in a second. I mean, the, 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 the big difference and you see it every game is the backcourt, right? Like even Caleb love did not shoot well last night. No denying that he still finishes with six boards and six assists. Mm -hmm. Right. He's still doing other things. He's still going to the basket at times. He shot too many threes, but like Boswell, I mean, Boswell shooting what this season? Like 72%, something right. stupid. Right. Um, backcourt, and, 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 I, and I'm going to say it every game this season, probably the biggest difference with this team is the backcourt is just so much more dynamic right. than last year. It's not even comparable. Uh, it's not comparable, and just from an athleticism, from a scoring, from a defensive perspective, it's not even close. And I think that's the thing that a lot of people are uh, – I think that's, you know, yes, they're better, but they, you just have so much more versatility. Now, also – oh, Jane Bradley. We've got to give Jane Bradley some credit. Five of a kind media. Appreciate you. Um, five of a kind – or five of a kind media. J uh, Jaden Bradley played very, very well. Um, I was happy to see that because he had been struggling up to this point. Yeah, I like Jaden Bradley a lot. Um, you know, you actually of, like Jaden Bradley. Yeah, I and and I had a lot of questions when they brought him in, right? And and you know, I didn't think he was an outstanding player, but he's not starting. And once you found out he's not starting, I I, I was okay with it. Mm. Um, I don't think he's as. With that being said, I, I don't think he's as bad as he showed early in right. the season. I agree. Um, I think I I think more of what we saw yesterday is what we'll see. Not thirteen points a game either. But look, all the dude needs to do is run the offense and be more efficient than he has been. And, and Arizona is fine. I, I think people expecting him to go nuts. It, they don't need it. Right. They just, they don't. Also, um, Huntsy, 6'4". Sure. Take this one. Nine boards off the bench for KJ Lewis. What? Nine boards off the bench for KJ Lewis. Last night? Mm -hmm. When? Did he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. This will be a sure. This is you better hope that KJ Lewis gets to the NBA as quickly as possible because this is going to be a slow death for you. A very Sorry, I just got a uh, I just got a text that USC is naming their defensive coordinator today. Who is the defensive coordinator? Antonio Pierce. There's two. Cho there's there's two. Uh, I think it's Jim Leonard. If it's today, it's got to be Jim Leonard, right? I would assume it's Jim Leonard because he's available. Right. Um. That's certainly what I would think. Anyways. Um. Servite, uh, Servite, yeah, to heck with South Point. We got Servite. That's a very good point. Um, Matt Muehlbach, this guy, Matt Muehlbach during the broadcast <laughs> called Umar Ballo a leader of men. Matt Muehlbach is a treasure, a national gift that keeps on giving. So here's what he said on air leader of men, um, the uh, Swedish pinball, um, what else did he say? Uh, oh, the four peaks. Um, he's good, man. I mean, just sheer take it from there. You downvoted it. Yeah, I just and I'm not downvoting it. You I'm just downvoted it. I no, but I got to keep you humble, Mike. Like it's oh, getting no. to be a little bit much. It's like Shelby with predicting the score every game. You guys yeah. are getting arrogant. You know, I got to bring you. 
I, yeah, you know. yeah, but that was also very, very, I saw that down vote and it was next to the normal down voters, QAZ. You used um, to down vote me for everything. Uh, yeah, it's true. But, um, but Omar Ballo, leader of men, very, very impressive. Um, this team though, again, I don't really, uh, um, uh, oh yeah. Uh, Philly B said, started some equity brewing slander on here. Philly B. Uh, yes, I see. Um, okay. Watch it. Shelby. Uh, next up the Tommy. Oh, the Tommy gun, David Stith. That's right. We got to get the Tommy gun on there. How about that? No. Oh, he hates no. It. Because here's the deal. Mulebach won't do it because Tommy hates it. I could get Mulebach to say back the A. Well, well, yeah, that's easy. But yeah, you can't I'll... get Tommy Gun. By the way, you can I... get Tommy Gun. Wouldn't it be Probably. funny if he got fired? Like you did Tommy Gun, and then he got fired for like referencing a weapon, for referencing a weapon or something, and then he has to go work for the Washington Bullets. Yeah, how's <laughs> how's Mulebach going to be able to make it in this day and age? Um, all right, Michigan State. Let's preview this game here. Michigan State does nothing for me. Um, this is another Big Ten team that I think they don't suck, but they also do very little for me. I think that Arizona, I think Arizona's better across the board. I think Arizona's going to win. Mike, uh, speaking of Michigan State, before we get delved into it a little bit, I asked Bruce, I said, Bruce, can you please rank Michigan State so it could be two ranked matchups? And he said, Jason, he said, I probably will. Bruce dropped Michigan State out of his rankings. Dude, I'm telling you, man, you can't trust this guy. Bruce got uh, <laughs> Bruce got very upset with me last. Uh, Bruce got very upset with me last week. Arizona, yeah. he has Arizona four. He saw his, he's UConn ahead of Arizona. He listened to us on Tennessee, though. Right. The uh, okay. all right. He listened to us on Tennessee. Here we got to tell people what Bruce did. We told Bruce that Wisconsin and Sta or Wisconsin sucks and Stanford sucks, and they both got they both got run out of the gym like that <laughs> night. This is true. Yeah. Yeah, it is true. It was funny. Who, who does Bruce, uh, who, who does who else does Bruce have? What's Bruce's top five? Uh, Kansas, Purdue, UConn, Arizona. Bruce. All right, man. I'm I, like I said. I tried to warn. Tried to warn him. Now, listen. You might say, Bruce, that guy must live in an opulent palace. He probably does. Or I could see Bruce hanging out at Gila Resorts, Rivers, and Casinos because of how cool it is. Went up to $100,000 cash, 21 and over only. Visit GilaMillionDollarShowdown.com to get in on all the action. For more information on Gila River Resorts and Casinos and all they have to offer, head to play at Gila.com. Um, I think Arizona is going to – I think Arizona is going to beat Michigan State by 7 to 10 points, Skier. What say you? Yeah, I would agree with that. I – uh I, I just miss it. I feel Tony, much better. Tony about Jones, the great Tony Jones. Go ahead. Sorry. I mean, I feel much better about playing Izzo in November than I would in February. Right. Uh, Yes, there I do. I do think, oh, backing the A from Maryland. I'm telling you, the back the A movement is not just regional. Oh, okay. It's natural. We had a guy in, we had Shaz in Sri Lanka backing the A. There's many back the A people everywhere. Maryland, we appreciate you. Very much appreciate you. Um, UCLA versus number four Marquette tonight. Good game. UCLA stinks. Uh, yeah, I think Marquette puts a puts a beating on UCLA. Beating. Okay. Oh, oh, I didn't rap yesterday. I, did that game. I think it spreads like five. Uh, yeah, UCLA stinks. Um, who is? Oh, Marquette's got the guard uh, on Jay Billis's all white team. That was his all white team. He, no, he had the all white team. Yeah, Jay Billis. What's that? No, you're like you're like sheer. What do you see about this team? <laughs> Jay Billis, Jay Billis, all American team was an all white team. I don't know that I've ever seen that before. <laughs> uh, Marquette minus six, by the way. Marquette minus six. I like Marquette to cover, even though I don't know anybody on that team except the one all American, all American. Um, what was I going to tell you? Uh, da -da 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 you were going to tell me. Uh, I don't know. You call right, Texas. Either. We need Texas to win. Oh, there's a lot of good games on tonight. Wisconsin, there's a, yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot a, of good games. There's a lot of good games on tonight. I do like Arizona to cover. Uh, I do like Arizona to beat. Uh, um, I think they're going to lose one out of conference game. I don't do know, too. Don't know which it is. I, kinda, I lean Bama. It's going to be Purdue, man. Because they have to go across the country. It's going to be cold and all that. Yeah, I but they, I, 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 yeah, I guess. I guess. Um. Oh, hey, look Look at this. Oh, oh, uh, Dennis. Oh, I was supposed to rap last night on the postgame show. I didn't. I will do uh, Notorious Thugs because I told him I would do uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Armed and dangerous. Can't too many hang with us. Straight up, we know Angelus. Label us notorious. Thug that ain't scared to bust. Ba 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 ba. It was very, very good. 
Uh, by the way, to that poster, I ignore you. Uh, to yeah. that poster or commenter or whatever, uh, Purdue minus five. Against Arizona? Gonzaga. Gonzaga? Hmm. Hmm. I think Purdue wins by more, to be honest. Yeah, I think Purdue. I think I think Gonzaga actually kind of stinks, to be honest with you. So on that note, all right. We did yeoman's work right here. Obviously talked about a lot of nonsense, but it was fun in the process. Jason Shear, where can they find you? Wildcatauthority.com at Jason Shear on Twitter, Wildcat Scoop Podcast with Shelby in Palm Springs, back in Phoenix. We're going all over the place this week. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, how many football players, how cool is this? How many football players are backing the A and putting the back the A in their tweets? It's really it is. People call it a movement, but I think it's already – what's the next step after a movement? A revolution. Yeah, let's the go with that. a revolution. It's yes. a revolution. It's no longer just a little movement. It is a revolution. Manoa put that out there at, on his departure tweet about thank on all who back the A. Uh, the guy from Indiana who I can never pronounce his CEO, name. CEO yeah, did it. CEO always backs the A. Um, who else? Uh, there was somebody else. Uh, Polito. Oh, his father backs the A on everything. James oh, yeah. Phillips. So many people backing the A. Irish Mike, no matter what you think, you can downvote those all you want. The back the A revolution is here. The back the A, the revolution in Russia didn't occur until it was already at the front store, uh, steps of the Kremlin. That's the same way it is right here, Sheer. It's over before it started. Yeah, I don't know. Now we're now we're doing back the A Russian propaganda. But you know what? Who cares? Yeah, I do. Yeah, exactly. All right. On that note, appreciate all of your comments. We got the great Ryan Hansen coming on tomorrow. What does that guy know? Um, and then uh, later in the week, we got post game show. Then we got Digital Dam coming on Friday to preview Oregon, Oregon State. Friends, we are all Oregon State fans this week. Do you know what Digital Dam even looks like? What's that? Oh, no, I have no clue. I just assume he looks like that Jonathan Smith uh, picture that he has. That's fine. That's fair. I Do you know what he looks like? No. How would I know? Uh, okay. I All right. I have, All right. Well, I thought you were saying that like a leading, like, hey, dude, you know. No, Anyways. I don't know. All right. Oh, and by the way, uh, Udifo and D'Artagnan do a very, very good podcast on your, uh, on Shears board. Um, I don't know if they're on Twitter or not. But they need to post their stuff. It's very good stuff. Udifo, D'Artagnan, salute emoji as well, my friends. Very good work. Keep it up. We're proud of you guys. All right. On that note, Sheer, I actually like you. And all of the people out there, you're all better than Sheer. And you're certainly better than me. Appreciate you all. By the way, Sheer, I got in trouble for this. I had to tell Ben this. You always click off before the show at, uh, at outro uh, starts. Wait until it is. Uh, wait until it starts, my friends. All okay, right. Yes, all right, watch this. We're going to see how, actually, let's see. we got three more comments here. Let's see, uh, go Beavs. Yes, back the Beav. Totally agree with that. Back the Beaver this weekend. Everybody backs the Beaver in some way. All right, you've been listening to the AZ Wildcats podcast. We all silly like the mayor. 